Yo, what's going on, guys? Here's another uh, third unboxing for uh, some of the old attic boxes. So, we'll start off with this. Whoa, slow down. Sorry. Let's let's start off with this Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. It's pretty cool. The DK Bongos, and uh, this is cool artwork on the back too. Some dope stuff. So there you go. You got Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. And then I got a box for the uh, PS1. Bought this brand new when it came out. Awesome system. I uh, kind of don't mind playing something small like that. But what's the fuck is in this box? Is it just the inside? Oh, dang. Good thing I looked in here. A Yoshi Mitsu toy. That shit is super badass. Ooh. That guy's definitely uh, going up. We don't have his swords in here, though, do we? Meh. Oh well, so with a random Yoshimitsu box up in there. So that's kind of cool. Let me scoot back over. And then, this is really neat. Oh, sorry, I don't want to break what's in here. This is, it. This is that sharp Famicom, Japanese, obviously. I really like this model, look at that. Check that out, Famicom. Two players got the uh, Nintendo Disc Famicom Disc System and the Famicom Top Loader, so that's really awesome. It's a DC 7.6 volt and it's got the uh, yellow and white outs, so that's really great. <coughs> really cool system. And uh, what do we got next? Nintendo? No, I had no game in there, so just another Nintendo. I don't think I need that out for any reason um here we go this is kind of cool sega saturn so this is my original sega saturn that i bought because it still has ass tall in it and i was playing that game list so that's pretty cool Alright guys, sorry, just wanted to see if someone was calling me. So we got the original American top loader here, which I got one over there, so this will go back in storage too. But most of these game systems I don't too of, and a lot of these ones are the second one, the Mario Kart box, which I didn't have out, so that's going to stay out and go where it belongs. And then these are really cool. Shit. Fucking dropping everything over here. Dude, my Hawaiian beads, man. I bought these in Hawaii. Really fucking cool, man. They probably smell like shit now because they've been in storage. And then this thing's cool. I thought it was in better condition. It's in really bad condition, but Japanese white Sega Saturn. With Street Fighter 2 Zero up in there, so I'm gonna take the games out of all of them. And it's cool because it has like the Japanese uh, memory pack, so that's gonna stay out. I'm gonna go uh, stack those next to the American one. Put the games down like that, and then this is awesome Pokemon Fanny Pack. I got this in Newark. I remember buying it there. It's pretty funny. Just thought it was a cool bag. It's like from one of those uh, like Mexican dollar stores, but I just thought the quality for like the Mexican dollar store was uh, really cool. And that was when we first went to. Gosh, what tournament was that for? Dude, it was for like a CBS two tournament. It was crazy, dude. It was so long ago. This is cool, man. Genesis three. So I'm gonna definitely. This is going up on the wall. This is such a cool item. Really love this thing. I found this thing, I think, in the garbage. So, really excited to take that out. Oh, here we go. Cool. It's pretty cool. Mario Party. So, I think we have. Mm, no, Mario Party's not up there, so it's gonna get added straight to the shelf. 
Here we go. This is something uh, that I was really, really looking for. Just flat out. Like I needed this. My Nintendo disc system, man. I love this thing. And then this is for sure really fucking wrapped up like shit. Oh, man. This is my Famicom disc system. So, it's got the... Well, not Famicom, just my Famicom, my original Famicom for sure. And this is going to have to get so cleaned up. It is covered. But look at this spaceship, dude. Pew, 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 pew. So freaking cool. Frame that shot like. Bam, motherfucker. Look at that shit. I love it. So, uh. Let's see what else we got. This is just an old. Regular old PlayStation. Not bad, but nothing needed. It could be my original. I don't think it is. You know, that Sega Saturn controller. It's freaking awesome. So that's going to stay out and get rewired and uh, put back. And then my Sega Master System 2. This I also found in the garbage, so it's a pretty cool system. Um... It doesn't have the cards, so it's just the cartridge and you lose the old slide cards. But I think it was cheaper. And it came out much later. I don't see why they would think though that they wouldn't need the cards. Well, that's cool, an X-Men Cubic toy. Every once in a while there's like loose toys. Which I always find pretty cool. Regular Sega Genesis. And eh, just old, I got one over there on the shelf. So no real reason to have it out. And then let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh, dude. This is super cool, man. This is Jones Soda. Metroid, man. The fucking... Jones is starting to like seep through the bottle or something weird as hell, too. But yeah, check that out, man. A Metroid Hunters one. It's really cool. And then we've got some, um, like this Rogue Galaxy. Check out this lanyard. It's got like little dudes, action figures on the lanyard. Then just the Game Boy Advance lanyard. I don't even know why I grabbed these things. What a waste of fucking time. And then this is cool, because I don't have this over there. I have the 32X over there, but not this Genesis model. That's the Genesis 2 with 32X on it. So that's pretty cool. But uh, definitely going to put this back in storage. So yeah, it's cool. Nice. I, mean, I got into the Genesis. This Genesis I collected all like the models and stuff. So both Master System and all four. But you know what I got to get is that um, CDX or whatever. That's, that's a cool item to have. Oh man, this is awesome right here. So we got the Sega Genesis Game Genie, which is pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. And a yeah, just a regular Game Boy Pocket with the Game Boy camera. It's really nice, pretty neat. Throw some batteries in that sucker. Let's see if it maybe there we are. Yep, there's batteries in it, so that's really nice. Um, just an old Game Boy which I would like to put some batteries in this too. So another, an old Game Boy. This Game Boy should work just fine. And I think I know what I'll do with this. So we got the Game Boys. That looks like it. I don't know. So you got that PS1 controller, which I like this one. It's lighter, like color-wise, and then has like a really light feel to it. And the bottom tip is rounded. The insert part. And then what the heck is this thing? Oh, this is the power cord for it. Wow. Holy crap. I think I have never used this original one for that system. So that's kind of cool. Because, um... It's cool because... I think the one I've used has always been just a Radio Shack one. I thought I lost this, so... That's nice. And that's everything in that box, man. So... There you go. 
Let me just look, make sure. Yeah, that looks like everything. So, alright, guys, I hope you enjoy the unboxing, some random stuff. I have about seven more boxes up there in that attic, so that'll be pretty. No, I, maybe I have seven. They're not all games, so it's probably like three, four more game boxes. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching. If you're into weird stuff, or if you uh, want to just hit me up, if you want to. You want a weird Yoshimitsu toy? DM me, man, and we'll talk. I think I'd let him go for 50 if anyone's interested. So yeah. All right, guys. See you later. Peace.